Today we will see ultrasound guided stellate ganglion block. Very simple technique. So before going to ultrasound, we must know few anatomical landmarks of the stellate ganglion block and then those landmarks can be seen exactly under the ultrasonography and then we can inject a drug. Stellate ganglion is a combination of inferior cervical with first thoracic sympathetic trunk situated nearly in front of C6 C7 T1. The few important structures around the stellate ganglion are a vertebral artery. First is vertebral artery. Very near and we should avoid a puncture of the vertebral artery. Now another structure is brachial plexus and stellate ganglion sits exactly on the longus coli muscle. All the sympathetic chain sits on the longus coli muscle. Now see these are the cervical vertebras C7, C6. So, if we are to give a stellate ganglion, we can inject drug at C6 or C7. C6 is preferred. Why? Because you can see a vertebral artery is not exposed at C6 level, it enters into the foramen. So, how to identify C7 and C6? For the C7, there is no anterior tubercle and vertebral artery can be seen throughout. So, anterior tubercle of C7 is very much rudimentary. While in C6, we can see a prominent anterior tubercle that is also called as a chassis tubercle. And a vessel which appears on this, around the C7 disappears, reappears, disappears, reappears, disappears, reappears as we move our probe up is a vertebral artery or those are the vertebral vessels. I will show it in the ultrasound. So here we can see this is a C7. Why this is C7? Because only posterior tubercle is seen and anterior tubercle is almost rudimentary. And what about C6? We can see a prominent anterior tubercle and posterior tubercles. Now, what are the soft tissues around the stellate ganglion? So we start from the midline, go laterally. This is trachea, thyroid, and we can see a carotid artery, IJV, vagus nerve. Now, this is a vertebral body and we can see a muscle wall here. Line above the vertebral body, anterolateral aspect is a longest colloid muscle and into the pre-vertebral fascia we can see the sympathetic turn. Other important structures are Brachial plexus, those are little lateral. This is a vertebral body. We will see another picture. Now, see, usually a linear probe is chosen. We have to identify C6, C7, depending on the anatomical landmark to start up with, and then we have to go by identifying the C7 by transverse process and few soft tissue structures, trachea, thyroid, vertebral body, transverse process, vertebral arteries, longus coli muscle, carotid artery, carotid vessel and a vagus nerve. Just above the longus coli in pre-vertebral fascia there is a stellate ganglion. Right? So there are two other structures. We can encounter the inferior thyroid artery and recurrent lacrimal nodes. The structure under ultrasound you will see sometimes are very in close proximity. So there is chances of injury to the inferior thyroid, vertebral vessels, a drug can block the recurrent lacrimal nerves, vagus nerves. We will see how.
this is an ultrasound, actual ultrasound. I will go a step by step and then we will run a whole video. The probe is kept in the midline. This is medial side, this is the lateral side and what are the few structures we can see? We can see a nice trachea. Okay. This is esophagus. A thyroid. Carotid. IJ. A transverse process. Here we cannot see what is this or any other thing. So we'll move probe a little bit up and see, but I'll show that this C7 transverse process, this is longus coli muscle, and all the structures what we now saw, the stelate, the vagus, the recurrent line will normalize into this close proximity. This is just to show you how closely it can be. Now what happens as we move up? See what happens. I'm moving the probe a little bit up, means superiorly and little bit of laterally. You can see C7 transverse process. What is this? These are the vertebral vessels. Just look. Have a look on those vessels. Fin artery. Why to call this as a vertebral? As we saw, we, if we move a probe little superiorly into the neck, this should disappear and we should see a anterior tubercle and posterior tubercle. Instead, we are seeing only a posterior tubercle. Now, see, I am moving the probe little up. See to those vessels, what happens to those vessels? This is definitely a carotid IGV. Just have a look. Just have a look. Now, look carefully what's happening here. C7 transverse process, vertebral artery vein. Now have a careful look. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? The vessels are disappearing. Completely disappeared, and you can see the anterior tubercle and posterior tubercle. So initially that was a C7. This is a C6 where we cannot see the this is C6, longus coli muscle, carotid artery, IJV, and hold the structure. Hold the structure, the stellate ganglion, the phrenic lies here just above the longus coli muscle. Sometimes the structures can be very much compact and that can result in a phrenic nerve palsy as well. So, see. I will play this video for you. I am just manipulating the video there only a little bit. So, again, when I come down, you can see the vessels. So, I will play this video. C6, longus coli, vertebrals. Vertebrals, this will disappear and associate to work. Now, we will see an injection technique. Now what I suggest is, now here I have taken purposefully opposite side, this is medial side, this is lateral side. I request to inject at C6, even we can inject at C7, here I have uh, injected at C7. And let's see, a carotid, C7, vertebral artery, vertebral pain, longus coli muscle, and the stellate ganglion somewhere here. Okay, longus coli muscle. So, um, our entry will be from here, can also have an entry from here, but I prefer entry from the lateral side. C7, on the scolar muscle, and we can see the needle entry, and see the drug. We are doing the hydrodissection, you can see the needle entry. Some hydrodissection, the drug is being given just above the long scalar and pre-audible fascia. I have to go here and then give the drug. So the drug is being injected nicely here. Vertebral vessels are pretty away from the needle. At C67 we can see the vertebral vessels and that's better place but we can inject at C7 as well. Thank you friends. 
So any queries you can ask.